got as Dulos here. Just want to do a quick review with you with um, this Condor pack. Um, I forget the name of it. I'll link it below, and obviously it'll be in the title. But I've had this pack for quite a while now, maybe a year, year and a half, uh, maybe a little longer. Use it as my EDC bag slash bug out bag, um, and I really like it. Um, it's really held up well. Um, no major signs of, of wear and tear. I've taken it out to the range a bunch of times. Uh, throw it around, just keep my stuff in it. Again, usually it just sits in the back of my car, bring it in, and I put it back in, but uh, I got some stuff in here, and uh, it's held up really well. Really quality bag, I recommend it, especially um, when I bought it, I think the price point was 40 bucks. Just a quick overview, front pouch. I uh, got some Molly on here. I had some pistol mag uh, attachments on here, pistol mag pouches, but I took them off. Don't really need them on this bag, but it's nice to know that it's there if you need it. This front pouch is great. Um, some notepads in here from hotel stakes early in the year. Um, allergy stuff, some pens. See what else we got here? More allergy stuff, clippers. Got a knife. Right and rain pad. Some more paper. Security card for work. A little pouch, headphone pouch. More allergy stuff. Um, Basically, I like to keep pens and things stuffed in here. Um, I guess the only downside of the wear of this bag is that I've found that these pouches, uh, these little straps have stretched out. So I would keep things, uh, you know, clipped on here, but then they tend to come out. So this has just kind of been um, just a catch all. This stuff back in there. So again, this is really the pouch that I access the most. I keep my day-to-day -day stuff in here. If I am bringing the bag with me somewhere, this is where I'll stuff my wallet and stuff. I'm at my desk at work. Glad this is in there. This is a little socket that I use on the car. Top pouch, sort of just about big enough for a glasses case, so I keep a glasses case in here. Got a couple band-aids in here. Uh, lighter, don't smoke, but you know, never know if you need fire. In here, oh yeah, this is, at the last place we were living, uh, my wife and I found this ring in the garage, and we couldn't find the owner, and I keep meaning to go pawn it, it's probably a couple bucks, but that's in there. No secret engagements waiting. Glasses case, in case I need to stuff my glasses in there. Some Velcro patches up here, so if you need to put anything up there, or want to put something up there, it's there. there's also Molly across the top. Um... It's kind of a day pack, but you, know, you can stretch it to a three-day bag. I, I use this on trips um, a lot, uh, short trips. Got an extra pair of socks in there. Surprise, swap those out. Those are summer socks. Um, um, oh, yeah, this is, I forget what they call these things, but it's like the loop. You can wear it over your head. You can wear it as a scarf. Do a bunch of different things with it. Keep that in there just in case. A couple chem lights. Got uh, mechanics gloves. And nothing else in there. This is sort of my auxiliary pouch for stuff like this. Again, decent zippers. Got some webbing, a couple pockets. Um, decent size bag. Very, very decent size material too. Thickness material. The back here, got a bigger pouch. Um, back here, keep a couple uh, important things. Got an adapters here for a cell phone charger. I've got uh, batteries for my flashlight. I've got a power bank or power battery. I got this on sale too. It's a cheap one, but it works. You know, I tend to keep my phone charged, but there's been one or two times when I'm traveling and that's been a real lifesaver. Uh, again, I put larger stuff in here like extra clothes or lunch or food. Um, got a little. Uh, Holster for the Glock, uh, Swiss Army knife, emergency whistle, just some assorted camping stuff I keep in here, some paracord and a survival bracelet. Again, this is not a full bug out bag, it's more just kind of an EDC bag that I can use, that I keep stuff in, sort of my man purse, but it works. You got a Velcro area on the back where you can put a bladder. Um, for a camel pack or you can keep other stuff in there definitely decently padded decently aerated straps are pretty comfortable you got some d-rings on here um, tension straps and everything so if you got a full load 
like when I've gone out to the range. Tighten it up, cinch it up. You can cinch up at the bottom. Got some nice pulls on all these zippers. Decent quality zippers. Um, the color has been coming off on the zippers and maybe a couple little pulls on the thread here and there, but um, it's held up really well. You know, I've used it to shoot off of and to carry stuff and again, nothing, no serious excursions with it, but for a day-to-day -day bag, an EDC bag, a travel bag, it's decent to go. Um, you know, if I were to buy it again, at least for um, an everyday bag, I might get it in a different color just because this uh, OD green kind of screams. Uh, Screams anything but the gray man. So, hope you like it. Condor bag. Uh, I've been a, I have a lot of Condor stuff just because it's budget and it's quality gear. And for a weekend uh, range guy and for, you know, Chinese invasion or whatever, what have you, uh, it's a decent quality. And uh, that's that. I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, liking, and favoriting. And uh, please leave your comments if you have any suggestions on bags. I think the price point is really hard to beat here and uh it's definitely a quality bag so uh god bless you guys stay strong out there and keep standing up for what's right